think I'm live. I say it every time. But you can never be too sure with the things that have been going on in the last couple of lives that we've done. Um, a few technical hiccups to say the least. So, uh, yeah, God only knows. Pretty sure I am. There's two people either waiting or watching. So say hello if you're there. Hi. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need and I'm all set up. Got my water, got my paintbrushes, got my colours, got my reference. There is a link in the description, I hope, um, that has the reference photo that I'm actually using today in it. So if you want to have a go alongside with me or you want to have a go another day, you can play this back. Um, you know you're more than welcome to go and grab that reference picture and then either have a go along today or have a go another day it doesn't really matter um, I'm hoping if you accidentally have a view of my ceiling hi Jennifer hi Joanne hi Carol hi Vicky hi Jules um, if you accidentally see my ceiling it's because you're blue tacked to the bar that's holding my camera because I still haven't replaced where you were since doing the show with crafters companion so if it falls off you might get a view well a bit of a twirly whirly view how are you all how are we all doing tomorrow they're back to school i thought i was gonna have the house to myself up until school pickup time and then it turns out that hubby I'm hoping you can hear me um, that hubby has got late shift so the plan was to come home cup of coffee breakfast feet up watch whatever I like guilt-free on the TV without people moaning at me and doing nothing for the entire day that's not going to happen now because I was hoping today um, Oh, well, I best cheer you up then, Jules. Um, I was hoping today to get the uh, Patreon tutorial done, but I couldn't because they were in the office and I need silence when I'm recording the Patreon. So I'm going to have to do that tomorrow instead. But as I say, hubby's here anyway till about 12 o'clock, so I might as well just do it till he's gone. I'm just making sure you don't fall off and then um, then I can put my feet up. So everyone can hear me okay? Missing getting messy with traditional supplies but loving the iPad. Hubby's just gone on night so I'm on my own in the evening. Yeah, it certainly it has a, it's had advantages but it also means that you don't get any time during the day either which I know sounds really ridiculous but it, I don't know. It's my head. It makes a difference. makes a difference. Um... I have, I swear that camera's going to go any minute. I've been working really hard in the background on uh, the fleetings. If you're not familiar with the, what the fleetings are, they're my little characters that I'm building for hopefully a 2021 book launch. Um, specifically built around emotions, what they are, not necessarily how we can deal with them, but how to recognise them for children and teens on the spectrum. And um, so far I've managed to get on the pad. Um, I have done them on with markers and stuff, but it's just going to be easier to do the book if they're all already on the computer. So I've managed to do Shy, um, Envy and Jealousy. I wanted to put both because I wanted them to be both in there because they are very they're different but they're not different um sides of the same coin uh i've now no i finished it finished it this afternoon i'm doing done love jealousy and envy um anger and calm and sadness and hope um so there's a few more that i've got to do yet um but i'm hoping because of the little characters and how colorful i'm gonna make it 
that it's going to appeal to people of all ages but specifically children that struggle to understand their emotions and that's sort of what I'm working on on the pad in the background so um and I might do a little voiceover as well of the recent realism thing that I did on there but anyway I'm yabbering while I'm waiting for people to come on so I'm just sort of wasting time essentially um Oh man, doesn't it make a difference just having the pad there for you to, right, I really fancy doing something. The only downside is, is my eyes are shot to pieces because I'm spending so much time in the evenings trying to get this done because I still can't come in because it being, has as it's been, the kids have been up. So I don't really want to be coming here at 11 o'clock at night doing the Patreon. So I've just decided to wait until they go back to school. But yeah, it's so much more convenient. Okay, so if you didn't hear already, there's a link in the description for the reference picture that I am going to be using. I wonder if I can actually... Hi, Evie. I wonder if I can put it in the comments. I can. Right, I'm going to put it in the comments. So this link is the link I'm using for inspiration and a rough guide to the shape. But that's what it's going to be about is inspiration. Um, I've roughly, very roughly, mind you, drawn out the shape you're probably not even going to see it oh, I've just dropped my pencil now stay there um, you can just about see his head he's got his wings here and then his bum is up in the air so it's almost like he's sort of getting ready to land and it's just this stunning picture I'll grab the pad to show you the picture so that's the picture so you can see my ring light in the way um, but I loved the colour as well so I'm going to have a bit of a play on that and see how we do so this is a bit of a well it is full stop it is a tutorial draw along type thing but you don't have to use the tools that I'm using as I say it's just for inspo so if you are going to have a go whether it's tonight or another day the colours I'm probably going to use are Kingfisher let me turn that on Kingfisher hot pink and orchid so they're going to be the three main colors that i'm going to use in the pens um, to help on the wings i have pulled out the sparkle pens so i have the clear and then i have the cosmos lights reflecting in the wrong place cosmos as well and it's a very light almost like champagne color um, and I've grabbed two pencils, I may not necessarily use them, but um, I've got grapefruit and fig. So they're all watercolour supplies. And I'm using my standard Spectrum Noir watercolour paper because, in my opinion, it's one of the best. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all it's going to be. It's probably going to be a case of us just sitting and having a chat while I paint. And then if you've got any questions about the methods then you know fire away i am going to post in the group i'm not sure where erica's gone but i know she normally posts in the group for me but just in case i am going to post it um as i have had a new followers a few new followers since doing the show so i want them to be aware that i'm using the spectrum products as well there we go okay so let's grab that let's grab that uh, sorry I probably should have done this before I started waffling on but you know me and my organization skills I don't have any think one more and then that's it i'll leave erica to do the post in the group for me because she's found Dabby dozy like that okay let's just crack on then shall we um right i think i'm just going to start with the basis of the body 
um, and we're going to go in, we're just going to go in full pelt, shall we just do it? Let's just do it. That camera's going to keep adjusting, isn't it? There we go. Sorry, that's right next to the microphone. Okay, so I'm working wet on dry, so um, the paper is dry. It's not wet at all. I'm trying to get my eraser. So if you do have a go, come and share in the Facebook group because it will be lovely to see. If you don't have a Facebook group and you're on TikTok, tag me on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, wherever, wherever I am lurking. So I'm just going to put it on the underneath, I think. And then I'm going to build his ribbing. So just a little bit underneath the body. Please don't worry about the shape being perfect either. I literally just really quickly just sketched this out and it's not going to be a nat nat what's the word? An anatomically correct? Is that right? Anatomical? I don't know. Someone correct me. Um, so he's got the ridges down his back, which I'm just going to, the joints obviously of his body. And that's all I'm going to do because then I can pull the colour out from those areas and then when it's dry, um, and I didn't plug the hairdryer in, I can work on just making it a bit richer in the joint so it looks a bit more 3D. So I'm just pulling out from the area that I've got the colour. Like so. Let me know if you can't see very well and I'll see if I can zoom you in but without losing too much. Every wet brush. Hi Georgina. Thing. I'm just going to leave it like that to dry it a little bit while I, while I attempt to work on the body. The body's completely stumpy if I'm honest. Um, I'm probably just going to keep it very, I don't know, loose. So I'm just going to put a little bit of colour in the area. I'm not going to sit and be really fiddly with all the details. I'm just going to use whatever's on my brush to do the head. You don't need to keep refilling the area that you want to do. It's only really if you want it darker, more pigmented, that you need to. I do need to get my tile. Oh, wherever I put that. Where did I put that? Oh, it's covered in acrylic from the, um, the unboxing video. My other tile is just, wow, you're really organised, Benita. Acetate, where's my acetate? Have I got that at least? Someone please come be my PA. Oh, it's right over there. Seriously, someone needs to come and organise me and sort me out. Oh, you'll do. Plastic file. That'll do. Hello, Rob. Right, Rob's here and Erica's not. What's going on? Right, I've just put a little bit on a bit of like folder that you put A4 sheets in um, just because I don't want to put any more pen actually on the paper directly. Go away Bixby. Can you still see okay? Yeah. So 
So I'm just very loosely just making it a little bit darker down the side edge here. I have got a little square piece of acetate somewhere, but I can't find it in true Bonita style. Any leftover colour I'm going to put around the body. Probably, let me zoom you in because you can't see particularly well, can you? Oh, it's sticking itself to my desk. It's either static or there's wet somewhere. Oh, there she goes. She's posted it, bless her. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then we'll go in with the pencils. But I, I'm not sure. I think I might do the eyes, the purple, so the orchid colour. And I'm literally just going to put a little tiny bit of pen on the eyes and work around the outside edge because I want to keep a bit of a highlight in the middle so if you want to highlight in the middle without having to add it later just sweep your brush around the edge of the shape and just keep a little bit of white near the middle or wherever you want the highlight like so so with my pencil i can just Pop in a little bit of I'd say I don't want loads of detail so you know it's probably all I'm going to do is just put a little bit in that's sort of it really she's gearing up for you Rob that's why you see I'm just going to blend that purple out now. And by purple, I mean the pencil that I used. That's sort of probably all I'm going to do. This is probably going to be quite a quick um, live, to be honest. Probably under an hour because, um, yeah, well... Oh, those of you that have got kids going back to school tomorrow, you are probably well aware of the state of us parents' minds. We're looking forward to it, but I'm really anxious as well because Madison's going up to secondary school. So, hi, Erica. Okay, so the pencil I've got is the grapefruit. And I'm hoping I've picked, ooh, possibly not, a dark enough colour. I might have to use the purple. I'm going to just pull it off the end of the pencil with my brush and colour it in that way. I think quite possibly I could get darker than that actually. I might wait for it to dry and then we'll figure that out. Because I am late with August's Patreon, I am going to work on getting two done for September. If I can't get two done, I will offer something else instead, just to make sure that you have got two things at least happening. So whatever I've got left on my pencil, which won't be a lot, I'm just going to put on the end as well. I think we could do with a little bit of spread. So I'm just going to wet the brush, dab over where I've been and bring it out into the white space. Hi Beverly. I think for the minute I'm gonna leave his bottom like that. What are they called? Man no, that's mandibles of that bit, isn't it? What's the bottom of the dragonfly called? True story, right, guys? We were in town, oh, God, this was years ago, and this massive, massive dragonfly managed to fly into Holland Barrett and get itself stuck behind the window display. 
and was buzzing around behind this window display and the the girls in the shop were freaking out flying bugs have never bothered me i don't know why spiders bother me more than flying bugs um and i was like oh god yeah, look at them we've got to go help them <laughs> so there was me and hubby literally climbing in the windows of holland and barrett trying to get this I, it was huge this dragonfly out uh so guess how much drawing i got done this afternoon mm, i reckon a big fat zero I have the feeling that's what you're going to tell me. So the colour I'm using, I'm going to put the wash down first. So if you are going to be drawing along, as I say, the link is in the comments. The link is in the description. So if you want to join on along, the picture I'm using as a reference is linked in those locations. So, so I'm using Cosmos to base the wings. I don't think I've ever actually done a dragonfly. I have a feeling, oh, I need to check my colour chart because I have a feeling that's going to be darker than I want it to be. Oh, bless you. Why? I'm just referring to the colour chart, guys. Um, what was I going to choose? Cosmos. Cosmos. Where's Cosmos. Oh yeah, Cosmos is way too pink. That's what I was going to use. Um, I could use Rose Quartz. That might help. Let's try the Rose Quartz. I want something that's not pink, basically. Uh, rose Quartz. Peony. Pink Champagne. What's wrong? Oh no, Champagne's quite... Oh no, Champagne might work. Pink quartz, where are you? Rose quartz, there we go, rose quartz. Shaky, shaky. Move the microphone a bit. Right, I'm hoping as it dries, you'll see the glitter through the camera. Oh, that'd be cool. I like bumblebees, buzzy bumblebees. Oh, I didn't shut the lid properly and it's made my um, pen all frayed. Oh, you can't see it. It's made my pen all frayed. Um, okay, so I'm just going to... I'm not going to do a lot. I just wanted this light layer. So they weren't clear, but they weren't colour as well, if that makes sense. I just wanted a bit of transparency to them. So I'm just doing really rough shapes. And I have got the clear glitter with me as well if I decide I want to add some on the body. But I think I can always use the Cosmos one for that. So I showed my girls this morning my picture I did of um, Tommy. You did not paint that. You did not do that. There's no way you did it. You just printed it. Really? Thanks, girls. Um, so they were impressed. There's loads I need to learn about doing realism on Procreate, but I, I learned a lot to actually doing the Shelby one. So I definitely want to do some more. Oh, this is such a pretty colour when it's shimmery. I don't know if the camera's picking any of that up. I don't know how anyone can do a live stream, especially with me in the chat. I had a premiere on Sunday and I had anxiety. Bonnie did very well on the art show. Sorry, I don't know its proper name. Oh, thank you. I was bricking it. Um, I really enjoyed it, actually. Um, I think I opened... The, the intention was is to open the eyes to a lot of people about how these products can be used. Um, other than using for stamping and things like that and just how easy the process is I think that's probably it was hard because you had limited time but I just wanted to yabber on all the time about them because the ease of use of these products are just 
fantastic no matter your ability and that's what i was trying to get across and i'm hoping that that's how it landed okay can you right let me turn the autofocus there can you see that very well or not there's quite good isn't that pretty so much nicer in real life so if you get the chance to use the glitter ones do you're supposed to use the you're supposed to use I said oh yeah we don't use set art supplies mate they're just for display purposes only i'm gonna i'm gonna show you very quickly if you haven't seen it this is going to come out really dark through the camera <laughs> i'll put him in the light that's my thomas shelby that i did uh, check out my instagram if you haven't seen it it's the video of how i did it but yeah that's that's my it's really dark through the camera but i had so much fun doing that i'm definitely going to do some more i want to do um a venom one as well so that'll be fun okay what was i doing back to photos back to photos no nope. there we go back to the reference okay so that's the base down pretty much i think i need a darker pink for in here i don't know why i just feel it needs to pack a bit more punch i'll tell you what i'm going to use the other end i don't want to get that dirty so i'm going to turn him upside down thank you some look too pretty yeah see that's the trouble they do look too pretty there we go so i'm using the fine end of the pen i have posted the video in the bonita doodles group as well if you wanted to see the video but i had to show the girls just to prove to them that i had done it on there the scary thing is is the time that it took I mean, if I was to do that in real life, you're, you're looking at, what, 30 hours, I reckon. But I did it last night while binge-watching um, both Deadpool films. That's a bit better. Okay, so I'm just going to use a smaller brush to move the colour about a little bit. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I just want to soften it. I've put my hand straight over the glitter like I said I wouldn't. Shall I put some glitter on his body? What do you think? I'm quite tempted. I really want to use the pencils on the wings but I'm not sure they're going to be punchy enough I shouldn't have put that color where that body is that's I might see if I can pull that out so if you haven't watched it and you're still going to do this don't put or make it more transparent so I've just wet my brush and I'm going to pull up some of that color oh, my arm keeps sticking to this bit of plastic now I was going to pull up as much of that as I can. I'm going to let that soak for a little bit. And then I think I'm going to have a go with the light pink first in case I mess up. So I'm going to the wing on the reference twists. So I think I might have a go at that. Can you see that okay? Just about. So 
something about dragonflies, isn't there? I don't know what it is. I think it's the mix of the colour, the shape of their wings. I'm just putting some little cross, like a ladder. You can't see a huge amount of it on the reference, but I want to include some internal lines just to give you a bit more of an idea. Bon, is the jelly gouache paints good? I don't know. Buy them for a gift for someone. Um, yeah, they are, actually. I quite like them, and I much prefer them in the jelly cups than I do the tubes because you waste a lot less. Um, I don't use my gouache very often, but, you know, you know me. If it's an art supply, I have to have it. Um... But if they're going to use them on a regular basis, then yes, they. I think personally they are worth it. And they were really... Are you, is it the Himmy one you're thinking of getting? Right, so I'm just drawing some very basic lines. Just follow what you see on the reference. You don't have to. Make it up if you want. As I say, it's purely there as inspiration. Nothing more. just doing a few little rough lines in there I may need to make it stronger because on the reference it is pretty strong but I want him to be quite subtle Yes, it's just to indicate it. Those two colours go really nicely together. I wish you could see how sparkly it is because it's just so stunning. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, I like I like the Himmy palette. I was um, the only thing that I was probably let down a little bit by is the I don't know if you've seen it but I have actually got an unboxing video with the Himmy palette and using them um so I give a full sort of coverage thing review of it on there so if you haven't seen it it's worth having a look um some of mine had like big air pockets in there so there was obviously lots of room that had no paint but still it, a little of it's going to go a really long way and the colour is so pigmented I don't think I need anything more on I think where the light's clapped, catching the shimmer you can't quite see the detail but it is there what I might do I don't want to use purple ah, let's just try it see what happens I don't know it is quite pretty You can do this with any watercolour pencils. Please don't feel like you have to get special supplies in if you just want to have a go at the technique. So you can tell how rough I'm being, how sort of just basic with the details. We've decided we're going to get a guinea pig instead of a dog at the moment. I think a guinea pig is probably the right size and heavy enough and hand handable. Coming out with some good words today. More affordable at the moment as well. But you're going to get so much from it, Joe. You really are. Right, I'm not even really bothering now with following the reference too clearly. Now, my eye is completely in the wrong place, so I'm just going to draw that in where it should be, which is about here. I'd like to say it looks a bit bug-eyed, but I think there'll be a pun in there. I 
Are you in a shared um, shared connection? I'm just going to put some cross lines in. That's all I'm going to do. So you can see what little details actually going into the thing itself. Thing that's a real technical term. But he needs legs, doesn't he? First of all, I need to sort that eyeball out because he's looking very strange. Actually, let's go in with the. I must admit, the face was the one thing I was dreading on doing on this. Oh dear. Right. I'm just going to have to stop and let it dry, I think. Yeah, that's about right, Rob. I wouldn't put anybody to my bunny, honestly. She's like, I don't know, she's got a proper attitude problem. Right, I am going to put the clear over the body because I want to see, just while I wait for the eyes to dry. That really was quick. How long have... Now look, it's not even been 36 minutes because I didn't start it 36 minutes ago. Oh my god, just need to learn to talk. So it just shows how quickly you can do something like this if you want. Oh my god, that's so gorgeous. If you want to have a go, you don't have to give yourself a whole afternoon, but I promise you, you will need it because you'll end up getting addicted and want to do loads. Um, pick me another animal, guys, because this is really not going to take a very long time at all. In fact, I'm almost finished. I don't really want a 40 minute live feed. It's a bit unfair on you guys. Okay, let's let's give him some legs. for legs nothing too complicated I don't know why when I do these animals I like to have a completely clean background I don't know why I think it's because the softness of the watercolour I'm going to spread the wings out a little bit just by picking up what little colour there is on there him so I'm just going to see if that's going to work I could do a sunset with something going on in the background you can Ladybird, oh, ladybird, butterfly, iguana. I love doing iguanas. Yeah, my two are back tomorrow. All nervous, bless them. Shall I do a ladybird then? So, I mean, if you want to practice just getting used to these tools and having a go, it's just its just no time at all. It, they're just so easy to use. They really are. I want to take the stigma out of them, the pressure out of them for using them for this type of art. 
you know if you want to do apparel mugs t-shirts card toppers your own little individual ones you scan this in you've got your whole card topper if you want to make a whole range of cards Well, apparently she wants a tricolour one, so that would be interesting. Oh, ladybird. I am quite tempted with the ladybird. I want to do something I haven't done before. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we need some uh, we need some inspo or a flower, maybe. Could do a flower. Thank you, Jules. Um, ba, ba, ba. maybe a flower. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I have and I haven't done. Or I could do a galaxy silhouette. I wasn't honestly was not expecting it to take quite this short amount of time if I'm perfectly honest. Mouse, I haven't done a mouse. Could try and do a mouse. Barney, badger, cat. I'm feeling the urge to do a galaxy animal. Hummingbird. Reptile. I could do a guinea pig, couldn't I? That might keep her happy, actually. That might be quite a nice little surprise um, for when she gets home. Or maybe something to just chill her out before she goes to school. Okay, so I just need to find basic shape of a hedgehog. God help me. Hedgehog? Oh my goodness. Not a hedgehog at all. Okay. Iguana down the egg. Oh, remind me because I have actually got an iguana. I have done one. Fox or badger? I haven't done a badger. I have done a sloth. She is obsessed about getting a guinea pig. I've totally forgotten which way I pulled that out now. Crap. That way, be that way, be that way. Anyway, let's see if I can show you. Can you see the glitter? I don't know whether you can, but it's on there, it's on there. A frog. Oh, I do like frogs. Oh, damn it. I do like badgers. See, this is the trouble. I'll tell you what, let's do something really kooky. Let's go to a random animal generator. Random animal generator. Oh, okay, that's a weird... Oh, that's an that's an idea for a future video. This one combines animals to make different types of animals, so that would be random. See, I I just can't. Mm -hmm. I just need it to pick me something. One. Let me see if I can just right. Let's. Let's attempt. I'm going to put it here to show you, okay? So I'm on animals, quantity one, show images. So whatever animal it comes up with, I have to try and... An ibex. There we go. That's the animal. <laughs> um, An ibex. Okay, let's see how that goes, shall we? God. Oh, lordy. Okay, okay. At least it wasn't something completely weird and random, I suppose. I could have done an Ibex, like a really weird 
Halloween-y type thing. Okay, so let's do it that way. My rough horn, horn-ish, cheek, mouth-ish. Oh, God. Right, uh, mouth. I'll try not to make the face too long. I always end up making faces too long. Horn. Ear. Oh my god, his mouth looks really weird. Very funny shaped, like weird heart nose going on. I literally have no idea how this is going to come out. And I, 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 why do I know what they are, but I can't think of what they look like. This is going to be tragic. Let's let's just go. Let's just go with the flow. I have no colours set out. I, th I think. I'm not even going to bother scratching or colouring. Ah! <sighs> Rubbing out the sketch lines. That's, that's as I Becky as I can get. It's wrong, it's wrong. The horns need to be much closer to the eye. So that needs to come down here. Like that, I think. I think. <laughs> See, this is what happens when I give myself like five seconds to sketch something out. I know, yes. They use it to pull the ants and the things out of the park, don't they? Out of the trees. Okay. Shall we use a random colour generator next? Do you think we should go that crazy? If I did an eye, it would come out looking like E.T. going, phone home. That's exactly what would happen. Am I risking it using a colour generator? I am really, aren't I? God, this is going to turn out interesting. It's his mouth that I'm a bit worried about. I think his um, muzzle's too thick, but I'm not looking for perfection, but I'm not looking for idiocy either. Oh, shall I use a random colour generator? Shall I? Crap. I'm really scared. Okay, let's say maximum of three colours then, okay? Okay. Random colour generator. I'm so going to regret this. Okay, so it just says tap here. I've just clicked on the first one that come up. Okay, so the first one is blue. I do not have a blue in my aqua markers. That colour, I think Kingfisher is probably going to be the closest I have. Kingfisher is, yeah, Kingfisher is going to be the closest. Okay, so that's colour number one. Purple. Um, tulip, I think, probably. No. Orchid. 
Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is no word of a lie. What three colours did I pick out before I did this live? Kingfisher and Orchid. Okay, last one. Not gonna look. Is he doing it there? Oh my god, that green. Okay, bud green is the closest. Crap. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. They they actually look like a nice little combo, but I have no idea what I'm doing, so this is gonna turn out quite interesting. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried now. Okay, I need to find the reference that I had up. Um, ba -ba. Ibex, wasn't it? No, I've lost my Ibex. Damn it. <sighs> Shouldn't have been so clever, should I? Let's just grab any reference. Oh my god, the Ibex I that they showed me. Like look at the size of the horns on this thing. Oh, if I'd known that, I would have done it that way and I would have gone crazy with the horns. I might still do it. God, this is gonna turn out oh well, I don't know. You're lucky I don't mind making a prat out of myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him big curly horns like that. Go for it, Evie. Do an animal generator just like I had to do. Because I seriously have no clue how this is gonna turn out. I am literally gonna just gonna do it as I do my galaxy animals. I think I'm very lightly eliminate some of the pencil lines. I've got to get used to this because if I go back on the show, I need to have things in my repertoire that I can just roll off and do quickly. Okay, let's get you back in focus. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm not really worried at all about it looking a complete and utter travesty. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay, so I think for the sake of my sanity, I'm going to keep the blue and the green on the head and the body, and then I'll use the blue and the purple on the horns, I think. I might try that tomorrow. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you see the end of... Okay, so the, 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 the... That's the end of the... It really didn't take that long. About 25, 30 minutes by the time I stopped yabbering and got on. If you were on Crafters TV, though, but I would be dying right now if I had to do this on Crafters TV. I had to... I've literally still got the running sheet in front of me about as when what what and i was you know i had i was listening to the show watching the show i had skype on my computer skype on my phone because i had to have both attached then i had obviously them talking um joe and uh, leanne talking and doing the bits and bobs then i had obviously the studio people talking to me in my earpiece oh it was really weird really weird but i loved it it was really really great fun actually I was actually bricking it, but it was worth it. Okay, apparently, whoa. So Ibex is essentially what's associated with, geez Louise, look at that. Look, look at the horns on that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We are going to need a beard on it so we're gonna have to put a beard on it i think i don't know what i'm doing god help me please oh 
Oh man, how come do you come up with the good stuff, Carol? That's not fair. I haven't done a chameleon yet, actually. I have done an iguana twice. Um, okay, okay, look, I'm putting this off now. I really am putting this off. Let's just sketch in a quick beard just to remind me to add one. Oh, this is this. Do it, just do it, just do it. Because I've lost my reference as well. I really have no clue at all. Okay, let's. no different to do any other animal that you do Benita just crack on with it Wendy's missing all the fun hi Emily I need to be careful because this kingfisher is actually very potent colour. If you've noticed, I've only put colour down really where the darkest areas would sort of be. Um, and then I'll wash it out from there. But yeah, the, the kingfisher is quite a potent one. So it doesn't always blend out as easy as you'd like it to. Which is um, why I said on the show that really you need to swatch your colours. Because when you swatch them, you'll see how the individual colours behave. I tend to oversaturate my brush when I do this because it helps getting soak it up and then move the colour around. See, I don't know why I do this to myself because I ask you guys, okay, give me some ideas about what you want to see me to do. And then, you know, you gave me loads of brilliant ideas and then I have to choose between those ideas. And I'm like, really, Benita, you couldn't make a choice in the first place. How are you going to choose from all these wonderful ideas? So, yeah, animal generator. I think I should have to do that more often. I'm going to be doing realism next week and I'm going to be working on the graphite commission that um, I want to get finished up. There was no point in me even trying to get stuff finished while we were getting the girls ready to return to school. So, And it's not easy with Amelie going back. So we'll see how it all plans out or pans out I should say. If you're worried about having marks like this left over, don't. Just give the water time to soak in the paper and let it feather out, bleed out. You really need to give it that time. Um, a lot of people worry that they can't shift it, but that's where working on things like acetate afterwards to then bring some more colour in is quite beneficial. They are literally going back tomorrow so tomorrow is their first day back so um and this is the first year that amelie won't have madison on the walk to lunchtime break time and home from school so it's it's huge for amelie actually um amelie is nine and madison is 11. so madison is going up to big school and um, Amelie's just starting year five so but I'm really grateful because she has the teacher that she had in year four which is very understanding of her conditions so I'm quite grateful so can you see how already that's bleeding out rather than it looking like a pencil line it looks like it's meant to be there um just keep working don't brush too much because you can start to eat the paper up just gently dab it with your brush and it stops you crunching and eating the paper so I might have to plug my hairdryer in
let's get the beard going actually and then I can dry that at the same time it's drawn all over my hands going to use the way that my brush splays out at the bottom just to add a bit of detail on the fur not by the hair on my chinny chin chin oh I hated it I hated it when I moved up to big school it was more nerves than anything else. I didn't realise actually how much anxiety I had when I was a kid. Um, but I tell you what, I've had no sleep. The closer I get as well to her going to school, the less sleep I'm getting, which is really good. Um, but she did a test run with her friend yesterday. I'm really lucky that I live extremely close to both the schools. So I can literally, if anything happens at any time, I can just walk out my door and be to either school in less than five minutes by walking, so. I'm just gonna get the hairdryer. I'm not even gonna tell you how long it's been since I left secondary school. Okay, I got a less powerful hair dryer purposely for doing these lives when I had to replace my heat gun, so it shouldn't be as loud. So hair dryer's going on now. Do the back as well if you can. Yeah, I left in 1996. <laughs> oh my God. I left in 1996. I met John Coffee Man, as you know him, in 97. 97? 97. Was it 97? It must have been. Jeez Louise. 95, 96, I left school. Met John in 97. Moved in in 99. Got married in 2005. Jeez. Where does the time go? Yeah, I think it's just as soon as you get going, you feel a bit more at ease, don't you? It's the whole getting going of it. Right, can you see? I'm going to bring it up so you can see what I mean about allowing the paper time to soak and move and dry. How, oh my God, Jade. <laughs> how, um... How unlike a pen it looks so you don't really see the pen lines that you may have worried about in the beginning so yeah just give it time to move and shift and dry before you um, worry about the pencils showing or pens so I'm going to do the horns to let them dry and then I can work on the head again okay so I'm going to pretty much use the same technique I think Ibex have that ridging on their horns, but I'm not going to be too, oh, I suppose I'm best on some of these. 
might help actually. There's no way there's that much of an age difference between me and you, Rob. No way, Jose. I can't tell if that's starting to rain or there's a cat somewhere having a clean. The cat. <laughs> I've just realised I've not put the focus back. I'm really, oh God, this is going to sound awful, but I'm almost a little bit grateful that not for covid that sounds that sounds really awful but because my anxiety is so severe i have had the worst dreams lately but because of what's going on they've limited access to who can be where in the school at one time um and they've got a one-way system and the year sevens have to be kept apart and all this sort of stuff so it's it's given me a little bit of a breather knowing that she's not going to be thrown in straight away to all the rooms with the old kids, if that makes sense. Um, so I am a little bit thankful, not grateful. I hope that makes sense and I don't sound strange for saying it, but... Did you not do six form, Rob? Actually, no, that would make sense because there's four years difference between us then. Giving me age away now. God. Right, pretty wet brush because I want it to be quite well saturated um, I might have to do it upside down and I'm not worried about dotting this time I'm just gonna sort of move it around because I'm not too fussed about it being not blended. I'm really making absolutely zero sense today. I'll give you a sneak peek at the minute at one of the fleetings if you want to have a look. I'll be turning them into emotion cards as well that the kids can take to school on a key ring. I was going to push some paint out from the edges just to help with the ridge that they have on them. Oh, it is raining. Hi crafter. So yep, just putting out again from the other side. Just saves me drawing it all in if I can do it with a paintbrush. What I'm gonna do with a um a brush that's clean is I'm gonna tap some clean water over the top just to add a bit of texture to it. I'm 
just tapping out curl them around a little bit more I think okay so turn it up the right way that's not turning out too bad for a random generator and a random colour generator we've done all right Just get this moving. I think we'll have to do some more random generator lives, don't you? Bit of a giggle at least. It's certainly different. Yeah, I'm I'm loving Procreate. I really am. I as soon as I tried my sisters, I was like, no, this is just going to make my sticker business so much easier. Um, and as I say, doing the fleetings for the book um, and the other bits I want to get done, it's just going to make the whole lot easier. And I'm loving going over some of the old things that we've done on live feeds and maybe it's not quite turned out as clean as I want it or you know I've wanted to adjust it I'll show you in a minute um, I don't want to bore you all but right I'm gonna just get a clean brush now so it's just clean water it's quite a big brush it's number 10 and I'm just going to get some clean water on top I'm going to let it do its thing for a couple of seconds, a little bit more it's dry. He needs an ear behind here, so an ear behind here. I might just cleverly pop a little bit of green behind there. Just like that. Let's maybe make the inner ear a bit darker. Try not to use your pens too heavy on wet paper because it will draw out from the nib of your pen and then your pen nib just loses its colour. It will come back, but just be aware that that will happen. I'm just going to add some texture on my thing. Right, I'm going to... Can I zoom you in? Can you see where it's pulling out the colour? I now go with a tissue and lift the water off you'll see now all the colour come away brusho no but I have a friend who has it um, and we keep meaning she's used it before but I haven't it is one that I want to have a go at though right we need to do some on his beard don't we it's just missing a bit of on the old beard oh, I'll work out what on earth I'm doing with his eye it's going to have to be the purple isn't it you can use sea salt but when you've got something that's already dry it doesn't work as effectively um, and I tend not to have salt in the office anyway so it's just a quick way of doing it without having to use salt a little bit more in there I think to get like this crisp like here this crisp line in here you need to do that without the salt sorry I didn't realize my pad was on full volume okay he's looking all right actually he's looking all right um, I want to tippy tap some, I'm really annoyed I don't know what I've done with the acetate, 
be so much easier. Haha! <laughs> yeah, wasn't going to hide from me for long. I found it. Okay. Now I am going to. Was orchid on the list? Yes. I'm going to put a bit of orchid. A bit of kingfisher. And a bit of bud green. Still going to use the bigger brush. And then we're going to add the texture on with the colour. The drier the brush, the smaller the splat effect. The wetter the brush, the larger the splat effect. And with the blue. might want to blend his ear out actually I always like to have one or two areas where the watercolor just almost fades out I need some more color I need some bigger splops there we go While I've got it there, I'm going to darken around his jawline, under his eye. Mouth is a little bit annoying, but I can't, I'm not going to worry too much about that. So I'm just going to do the purple now. Right, that will do me, I th think. Let's add a little bit down here. Right, let's try and get this eye done. Um, if I need to, let's put some purple and blue down in case I need a darker colour. Hi, Coletta. Okay, I'm going to use a smaller brush now. Hoping that's dry enough. My worry is it's not going to be dark enough for the eye. I might pop some green in as well, actually. Just to make it maybe a little bit browner. Muddier. So if you've only just come on, um, at the beginning I did a tutorial which you can follow along and the link in, is in the description and there's one in the comments with regards to where to get the reference photo from. And because we actually did it so quickly, um, we then decided to use a random animal generator and come up with a random animal to draw and it come up with Ibex. And then we decided to... Uh, randomly pick some colours as well. So this is what we ended up with. Hair dryers going on. Okay. That's enough to dry it just to let me layer again. Now Ibex, don't they have that funny, oh, Bixby's woken up, they have that funny pupil, don't they? Is it like that? I 
really Bigsby that's because I wasn't talking to you and you like to suddenly appear whenever you feel like it am I the only one that has trouble with Bigsby like that probably made the eye a little bit too big but I'm not going to split hairs well I've got some dark on my brush very roughly putting in a bit of extra detail and then some more fluff I'm really tempted to um, oh, I don't know I don't know fiddling now aren't I but he doesn't look too bad I'm just I wish I had a darker colour for his eye I might dry it again and then do another coat I could put some sparkles on him. I am going to put some stars and stuff. Right, let's see if I can get away with a second. I have no idea what their eyes look like, so this is probably coming out quite tragically wrong, but hey ho. <laughs> That's what you get for losing your reference. I'm just guessing from the anatomy of animals that I've drawn before. Um, yeah. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to grab my Signo. Um, sparkle. We want some sparkle. Let's pop some sparkle on then. <laughs> Thank you. I really enjoyed it, but I was really, 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 really nervous. But I did enjoy it. I'm glad I did it, actually. Okay, so I'm using a clear sparkle brush on top. You can use it underneath, but... Let's, let's give him a glitter beard, huh? Because, you know, we all need glitter beards, right? I want to give him, oh, I'm really tempted. You're all going to think I'm crazy, but I think, no, I think he'll probably look a bit too cold. I don't know. Let's see if the camera will pick that up. Can you see that? Bit of spangles for spangles. That's all right, my lovely. You just sit and chill. I don't know. I want to add like, um, like I did on my Inktober. In fact, if I could find, I don't know where my Inktober book is actually. Know whether it's I don't think I did it in this one I had a specific book for it hmm. 
Hmm. You know when you tidy up and sort yourself out and then you think to yourself, where the hell did I put stuff? That's me. Can't, can't think of where it is. I want to put some sort of line or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Let's just do the white pen. Let's do the white pen and then we'll go from there. I don't want that highlight too strong on him. This is a really good pen to use, by the way. I much prefer these to Jelly Rolls. And they are, get you in focus, Signo Uniball. And I find that they're far less scratchy than Jelly Rolls. So if you want a really good highlighter pen, pen, pen I really do recommend it. You were great on CC. I'm glad you did it too. Worked up the whale and just finished all three of your SM box tutorials. Oh, fantastic. Oh yeah, come into the group. If you're not already in the group, um, I don't recognise your name as one of the new group members. Um, oh, I lost my voice then. Uh, yeah, yeah, bring it in. Bring it in and um, share it in the group. That'd be really, really cool to see. Oh, Leslie, you've missed some fun. What did you last see? Um, we decided to go on a random animal generator because I couldn't decide what to draw next because the first drawing took us no time at all. Um, you're probably barely going to see that. In fact, I might get my acrylic ink out for this. Oh, I like painting bubbles. Art is such therapy, isn't it? I find even if you're in a bad mood and you can't do anything massively creative, that just simply doodling is just enough to calm you down that little bit. I'm, no, I'm just doing this with the white acrylic ink. You can just water down acrylic, but... always ends up all over my desk so I have to clean it up the next day so again the drier your brush the smaller the splats are and I much prefer doing stars this way than using a toothbrush as well while I'm here I might just Lighten up a little bit on there. Oh, okay. Well, this was the um, first one we did. It's a running tutorial, so you can actually join in and do this one. Um, you don't have to have the colours that I've used. You can just use any watercolour tools, but the reference uh, link is in the description and in the comments. I'm aware that my camera is leaning more and more and more, so it will inevitably fall off. Um, I haven't put it back to its old spot since doing Crafters TV, so um, yeah, it's about ready to fall off. Um, oh yeah, that was the dragonfly. This, this was the random generator named animal that came up. The first thing that came up was Ibex. So I then decided to um, get the colours from the random colour picker as well. And it picked actually three of my most favourite colours. So, you know, you couldn't get you couldn't get much better than that. I don't think he needs anything more done on him. I th actually think he's finished. I don't think he needs anything else. I think we're going to have to start setting some random animal prompts in the group as a bit of a, a monthly challenge. What do you guys reckon? Might be quite fun. We give ourselves a week to do it. Right. I'm going to give you a sneaky peek at the fleetings I've been working on. I'm going to 
turn that off so you haven't got the glaring light reflecting into it so this is the the full picture of let me see if i can lighten the screen not really so that's actually a digital picture that i did and i'm really pleased with how he turned out so there is a oh, my screen's day there is a video of it in the group oh look now i've drawn on it thank god for undo button eh? Uh, okay, so this is an old painting. If you watch me live all them years ago, you'll remember this one. Um, so yeah, I've just been loving being able to go over some of my old artwork and giving it a new lease of life. Um, they're the stickers that I've been designing for Halloween. All of those. They're actually in the shop already. And I've been working on paper cuts, getting my old designs turned into paper cuts. So they'll end up in um, in the shop soon when I can get organised. Um, and the fleetings, which are, these are the ones that I have done so far. And I think there's about three or four more to do. I'm hoping to have maybe a collection of no more than 8 to 10 because I don't want the book to be overwhelming. Um, do you remember the owl? That was done with gouache, wasn't it? Do you remember? Thank you. I, I honestly I had so much fun doing that last night. So this is, it really isn't showing very well through the camera, but this is Shy. I love the Halloween stickers. They've printed out, I'm gonna show you in a sec because they've printed out phenomenal. Um, so that's Shy. He's much more colorful than you can see on the screen. Um, then we have, you all know this one, so Sadness and Hope. So I've given them a new lease of life. And look, they've got fluffy ears. I had to give them fluffy ears. Then we have Anger and Calm. So we've got anger and calm. Again, I've made all their ears fluffy and I love the texture that I've managed to get on. So these were originally drawn actually using my spectrum markers, but as I say, it's easier to use for the book. We have envy and jealousy. I wanted to do two because they are two slightly different emotions. So I'll let you decide which is which. So, and the last one that I've finished today is love. How cute. And I gave him extra, extra floofy ears. He had to have extra floofy ears. And my little bubble heart, which I had great fun doing. So, I know the little fluffy ears, proper little fluffy ears. So, okay. So that's what I have been working on. And I think you guys have seen that one. I had great fun drawing that spider. He was so much fun to draw. So, uh, yeah, so that's Halloween Mystical stickers. These are the ones that I've worked on recently. Um, that isn't in the shop yet, I don't think. I need to get it in the shop. I don't think it's in the shop yet. Anyway, that's what I've done there. Um, it really was, Jennifer, honestly. It's gonna save me so much time and I think in the long run, I'm gonna start possibly um, offering different types of commissions that I can do on the iPad because quite frankly, for, you know, when I need to be there for Amelie, it's handy to have something that I can just pick up rather than be in here and I don't want to be always out the way, so we'll see. But I made the stickers into giant stickers. So you've got standard size, standard size stickers. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I should do discuss, shouldn't I? So the standard size stickers, and then I did jumbo ones as well for things like laptops. 
and they've come out really really nicely I love the cat I think the cat's turned out really nice the planchette that last one my favorite saying oh yeah and uh, this was actually my kiddo's idea she decided she wanted the crow I had a few options of things I wanted to do and she opted for the crow and I'm so glad she did because it came out so well really really enjoyed it yeah exactly and you know not everybody wants these just for Halloween either which is why I took on the sugar skull type thing rather than it being just and these are the bookmarks that I've got to redo because they these ones turned out too small but I have actually started selling the bookmarks now so they're they're looking absolutely gorgeous so that's going to be turned into a bookmark so is that one and these as well these won't be turned into bookmarks but they this one will but they'll still be stickers and then I made my friend some for her business look how cute so she's got little business stickers because she's just started her business so if you want to go and show my friend some love and support go find magic oak on etsy because she does the most incredible polymer clay jewelry it's really really lovely yeah the crow came out really nice i'm really pleased with that um so yeah okay that's pretty much it from me tonight then yeah, the crow's just something different, isn't it? Loads of people have your normal stuff, but I just, I wanted to do something different. So I really enjoyed doing that. So if you want to have a go again at this, just scroll all the way back to the beginning. Um, I do name the colours that I've used. And as I say, the it's not even worth looking in the comments now, but have a look in the description. There is a link in the description for the reference picture I used just for inspiration. And that was our random random pick an animal and paint it and again that didn't take that long either so i was quite pleased really it looks like an ibex what more can you ask for uh, i think because the commissions are dying a death i have no choice but to fit something else in and the stickers are so much fun to do and i have so this is the thing as well um Actually, Leslie, I have so much original artwork, like using... The, see, this could easily be turned into a sticker. So because I have so much original artwork still sitting there doing nothing, I might as well just turn them into stickers. So they don't really take that long to do. So I have my silhouette machine just sat here. I wish I had the time. I honestly have to have a specific day. Um, no, no, I have to have a specific day that the machine comes out and I've actually adjusted my office now so the machine's directly below my printer but I have a day where all the cutting is done on one specific day. Um, I do not have the time to do it every day so I set up all my files that I need to get done. This is the sort of thing I was saying about doing tutorial videos going forward so not just based on art but other things as well so well, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I need to... I've got a lot of things going on with Emily's school, haven't I? So we'll just have to see how it all goes. Um, but thank you for joining me tonight. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whichever it may be, wherever you're watching from. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the bell button to be notified for all because I do try and go live every Wednesday. A minimum of one video is up at least in the week. It's been a bit tough, but I've tried. Um, but yeah, sort of that's it from me. So stay safe, everybody. It was lovely to have some new people on the live stream and hopefully I'll see you around the group. And uh, yeah, bye.